All right, so my plan of attack here, I'm gonna go do another round of money trading. Mm -hmm. So I can load up money. On sorry, money cheating. Money cheating. Call it what it is. Don't so shy I can, away. From I can your load up. Sins. So I can load up on those MP meds, med MPs, uh, and then we're gonna go take down an ogreman in Toy Town. We gotta do Toy Town. Wherever he is, we're gonna be there. Wherever you are, ogreman. Wherever you are, ogreman. Can you look up the Ogremon thing? God damn it. Sometimes I feel like I'm doing this whole goddamn Let's Play by myself. Wow, that's... What were we talking weird. about? We were food? talking about Pennsylvania and shit. Alright, tell me about... Alright, tell me more about Amish and stuff. What, what immediately Amish struck me... Things. What immediately <laughs> struck me about the place was that the entire county just smells like cow manure. Like, okay. constantly. Like... We, when we first got into the area, we stopped and ate at a Sonic. Yeah. And I, ju I ju and it was like next to a field with like a bunch of cows. So I was like, oh, this whole Sonic smells like cow shit. How unfortunate for the Sonic. What a terrible location for it. Right. Until I realized like, oh, this is just the entire county, basically. Uh, and after the we after the week there, how how after how like was it? after 24 hours, I literally did not smell it whatsoever. Because here's the thing, you know that at my grandfather's house, aka you know where I grew up, like on that property, there were cows, and that cow field just smelled like cow shit. Like anything near that area just smelled like cow manure. Right? Not the whole estate, though. No, no, no. But but just anywhere near, anywhere near in the vicinity of that patch. I'm talking about this place had a perm permeating, no, no, no. like we're permanent, all-encompassing. I'm not trying to compare cow manure stench. I'm not trying to compare uh, the, the the wide reachedness of the cow stink. I'm just trying to say that that is a very nostalgic smell for me. Okay. Every time I smell cow shit, I'm like. Oh, childhood. Cow yeah, shit. I'm sure childhood. anyone that like grew up on a farm is, smells that and is like, I'm home. It's a very weird thing to to yeah. someone is going like, ugh, that's shit. I'm smelling shit, and I'm going like, oh, it's like it's like every summer. Buster my dive learn. Nice. Everything's coming up, Monzimon. Oh, Grimon. Digimon wiki page. All right, so which one was Buster Dive? Special is confused. Buster Dive is the one that is super powerful but takes a long time to load up. Oh, might want to save that one until we have that uh, those medium MPs. Yeah. 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 Shit. Which way am I going? Okay. Ogremon is leader of a small group of bandits. Okay. Have we found him in, in uh, Waymon's secret cave? No. That's our next one, I think. So we defeated him a God second time. It. We defeated him the second time, not the third time. So we haven't defeated him with a Gabumon and a Waru Seedramon. No, I've not seen Waru Seedramon. All right, so we have to go to Waymon's secret cave. Yes. How do we get there? I don't fucking know. Waymon's secret cave. Were you listening? <laughs> All right, let me, let me check it out. Let me check it out. But yeah, no, it was amazing that when I first got to to this place in Pennsylvania, that it was just like, I was like, oh, oh my God, apparently I'm going to be smelling cow shit nonstop for five days. And then the next day, like, I was, like, breathing, like, really hard, like, trying to smell cow shit. Yeah. And I couldn't because it was just, like, what was it was first gone experience? from my sense. What was your first experience of the absence of cow shit? Was it, was it jarring? Did you notice that it was gone? Well, no, that, that's exactly the point, is I didn't notice at all until all of a sudden I was like, wait a second, I haven't been smelling cow shit at all today. Yeah. How did that happen? No, 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 what I'm saying is... Once the cow shit was actually gone from the air, once you left the county, oh, were you immediately like, like, oh, well, that's what, that's what regular air is. No, no, no. It just kind of just like never, yeah. huh? 
Because usually when I get used to a bad smell, I then become... What, just, I just filled that whole meter. Yeah, no, it, it wasn't like, oh man, I thought I was smelling normal air, but this is what it, normal air is. No, it was just kind of like, whatever. Um, Waymon's gonna be in Freeze Land. That's convenient, because that's where we are. You found a Way Waymon in Freeze Land. Oh, we have found that Waymon, I think. He says that bandits... I think he's, like, right next to the Mojo. So that bandits have taken over his home, and he brings you to his cave. The bandits will appear when you get there. They are Ogremon, Gabumon, and Awaru Sidrumon. Okay. And when you defeat them, Waymon comes to your city. He acts like a fairy, which takes you either to Factorial Town or Secret Beach Cave. What the fuck? What? Two nice. fucking two, muscle two charge. techniques muscle in a row. charge is one of the ones we were trying to learn. I don't even know what's happening muscle right now. Muscle charge makes us fucking buff, super amped. Gah, muscle buff. You know what this means? What? Monte Mont's gonna die in like two minutes. <laughs> like, God damn there's, it. There's no, there's no way that this ends well. No, but this all, this all carries over to our next it's buddy. It's true. It's true. This is what, this is what Digimon World is. Yeah. Digimon World is a game about death and rebirth. Number one, primarily a game Indeed. about death and rebirth. Indeed it is. Secondarily, about proving that even in the age of the internet, mystery can still there is, exist in games. You know, you know how uh, Fez came out and like the the big thing about Fez, everyone was like, "Oh, uh, Phil Fish beat the internet." No, fucking Digimon World beat the internet. Yeah, the internet figured out Fez in like a took two weeks. Yeah. But, though, to be fair, two weeks on the internet is like an eternity. That's true. That's true. Um, no, so, yeah, like, there was, there was like, Waffle House, there was, like, Cracker Barrel. I, I wish it, it was, like, a year ago at this point. I wish I could remember, because, like, I remember What do you just, like about Waffle House? What did you get? What did you get at Waffle, Waffle House? House? You ate there every day? Every day. I, we ate there twice. Like two days, like one for breakfast, and then came back for lunch. You did, was it because you liked it so much, or was it because it was just there? It was like, yeah, it was because we liked it so much. It was kind of like, in a lot of ways, it was like your typical breakfast place, but like everything was like insanely cheap. It was like we had breakfast for like three people for like fifteen dollars or something. Uh, well, one of your people was tiny. True, but he's still ordering food. I assume there was a kids menu involved. I don't remember. But the the food was just really good. Like I remember my favorite thing and they had like their weird words on the menu for like modifying the food. So like I would get hash brown smothered and double covered. And like smothered was with onions and covered was with a slice of cheese on top. So I would get two slices of cheese. Uh, but the one thing I did try was the biscuits and gravy that they had. Yeah. And have you ever had like the southern biscuits and gravy? Oh yeah. Yeah. I don't. I'm not sure that I had had it before. Or I certainly didn't remember. But at the Waffle House, it was like you got these like. I think it was two huge biscuits cut in half, so it was essentially like four. Right. And then they just covered it in this, the thick white gravy that was basically just gelatinous. Like it yeah. was not like mm -hmm. liquid at all. So it was just like an inch of like white. <laughs> like yeah white basically white lard on top of these biscuits like i felt like i felt like such a weird like i don't know northerner or something because i had to like scrape yeah. some up and what off. is this i was like i was like this is a little intense for me <laughs> i had to like kind of scrape it off on the side of my plate uh the i have had i have had biscuits and gravy but with it came with like an egg in between the biscuit and the gravy okay and then there was also some chicken there no this was just a huge plate with just like the biggest biscuits you've ever seen and like the weirdest most non-liquid gravy you've ever seen in your life um but i also was not in a pl in a place known for being yeah. a southern restaurant i was at a rest i was at a breakfast oh the place in the in other thing about waffles waffle house i think is that every waffle house is 24 hours God, so it's I just always open. It is so maddening to me that we're in 2015 and there's not more 24-hour restaurants near where I live. I have to drive 15 minutes to get to a 24-hour McDonald's. They, uh... Wait, did you say 15 minutes? That's not that bad. What, are you, yeah, what world are you living in? You're like, I have to go 
15 minutes to yeah. get. Well, you, oh, it's like, not, it's not, you, there's dude, not, it's not a comparison because you live in the fucking yeah, cave. Yeah, where I live. You to live in the cave. Where I live. Own fault. <laughs> where I live, anything is you 15 might as minutes well, away. You might as well have to, like, be complaining that there's not a 24 hour McDonald's, like, and you live on a houseboat in international waters. Like, you chose this <laughs> life deal with, like, I live next to the city, basically. Yeah, and I, you shouldn't and I have to pass, And I have to pass three McDonald's to get to the 24 hours one. That, I mean, that's fucked up. Yeah. Obviously. Right. There's, I, like a, there's like a fucking, there's a Taco Bell and it closes at midnight. I'm like, it's Taco Bell. It's a Taco Bell. There is a 24-hour CVS. Yeah, it's I mean, like, right dude, door, but I, fourth meal doesn't start till after midnight. Come I on, know. bro. What, what are you? How am I gonna? How am I gonna get a fourth meal if I have to like? If it's like 11:40 and I'm like, oop, gotta hurry to the Taco Bell. Yeah, you should never have to hurry to a Taco Bell. That's no. fucked up. Taco Bell should be a place that you like take your time in deciding that you need to go there. Um, we, I think we were talking to... The what are you fucking doing right now? I'm, I'm trading medium recoveries for a special defense disc. Why? To get that, to get that Skrilla. Oh, right, because they cost a lot more. Can we just, isn't that enough? Don't we have enough money? Don't we have enough money, fucking... It'll never be enough, you Keith. You Rockefeller asshole. You fucking robber baron piece of shit. You seen uh, you seen Wolf of Wall Street? You, no, no. I recently watched yeah. that movie again. Do you like it? Yeah, it's a great movie. Ah, I feel like I would hate it. I feel like I would hate every second of it. I don't know. I saw Gatsby and I couldn't stand it. I think Gatsby's pretty different from the Wolf of Wall Street. I feel Street. like it's the same movie. I feel like they just made, like they were like, ah, DiCaprio's already in in. Gatsby. Let's just make that, but 80 no, years in the future. It's like a comedy. I, don't, I feel like I wouldn't like it. You might not like it, but you should watch it. I w don't need it's to a watch a movie. movie. I feel like I would hate it. I feel like I would really hate it. I feel like it's, it's a movie. It's really that, long. It's one of those movies I watch it and I'm like, I don't want this movie to stop, and then it doesn't. And I'm like, thanks, movie. I feel like they're. I feel like they're not mad enough at that guy. Uh, I feel like that no, should be a movie. No. That should be a movie where I hate the shit out of him, and the movie hates the shit out of him, and we're all on the same page. No, that, that guy no, sucks I, and is horrible. There's a little bit of that, but mostly not. No, because like that's a guy that ruined people's lives, like punch a bunch of people's lives. Yeah, and you can make a comedy where he's the the. You can make a comedy where he's the protagonist as long as the movie is clear about like this guy's a monster and we hate him. So I just wouldn't be able to enjoy it, I don't think. Okay. It makes me sad, Keith. You don't know how to enjoy things. That's not true. I enjoy a lot of stuff. You, I mean, you basically just admitted to being incapable of liking The Wolf of Wall Street. But that's just one movie. It's a great movie. Though. It's not like I saw it and then was, like, grumpy about it. I just explained why I haven't seen it. There's movies that you have judged unworthy of watching. Uh, name one. I don't know. How long have you owned Blazing Saddles on DVD? Uh, a long time. How many times have you seen it? Uh, one time I put it into the Blu-ray drive on my PC and then realized for the first time, as everyone must realize at some point, that you can't just put a Blu-ray movie into a Blu-ray drive and no, then have it work. No, you have to install work. a Blu-ray thing. Uh, and then I didn't watch it and I haven't watched it yet. Yeah. There's, I mean, there's, it's to be not, clear, I, I have not judged it to be unworthy. I just haven't seen it. I just want to make it, 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 there's a lot of problems with Blazing Saddles. I think it's still worth watching, but um, oh, you know what I saw that was terrible? What? Are we talking about terrible things or are we talking about good things? I don't know. You know what they have in Pennsylvania? What? They got some of these. Th this is a southern thing that I didn't know about till recently. Fast food chains that are also gas stations. You know about this? No. What? That like just it's it's you think of it like a fast food place like this is a place to go get a burger and fries but like also every single one is a gas station <sighs> this self is weird it's <laughs> weird it's weird and it's creeping up into pennsylvania <laughs> yeah apparently <laughs> if you were to, if you were to map if you were to like map out uh 
all of the waffle houses, Cracker Barrels, and gas station fast food places mm-hmm. that are in Pennsylvania, it would look like a ghostly <laughs> hand. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's your like fucking eighteen uh, hundreds uh, newspaper. Com- what am I? What am I thinking? What's the term I'm thinking of? Political cartoon. Political card- yeah. Yeah. It's it's a ghostly hand reaching up the United States map, and on the ha- like each finger of the hand is like gas station, fast food, twenty four seven Waffle House. Um. I saw. I watched. I watched in one sitting. Uh, the Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. I saw your tweet about that. You um, s- said it was bad. It was bad. It was not good. It is highly acclaimed. Okay. Um, I watched it before it was highly acclaimed. I saw like one person say that it was good, and then I was like, "Oh, it's that." And then it was like, "Oh, it's a Tina Fey show, and it's got Jane Karakowski, and it's got Ellie Kemper, who's fantastic." Uh, uh, and I was like, "Oh, that sounds fine." Oh, it's on Netflix. Let me watch all of that in one sitting. And I was like, pretty into it for the first couple episodes. I was like, "Ah, oh, this seems like something that could be really cool." And then it just got like. Like worse and worse, and like well, it got it got less funny and less funny, and then it got really racist. Um, like in a in a. Are we is this where we get all our money? Yeah, I just look got all the money. Look how many bit we have so many bits that it's irresponsible we to have, judge them by the hun. We have so many bits. That it's literally not... There's one more digit. There's a one to the left of that nine that it doesn't even show because it it doesn't even know from that. Wow. Wow. I would be really sad if we actually didn't get that one, that it's actually (laughs) gone. It's like a ghost one. That's like, um... It's like in in poke... Yeah. Ghost one. No, we would have to go all the way down to zero before it came back. Oh, okay. Um, in fact, it's like a no. Pokemon when you get enough of a thing and it just like has weird fucking symbols instead of numbers. Yep. Yeah. It's we've, like, we've we don't, about that we a don't, bunch of times. yeah. Like eventually these symbols will be a bunch of nines if you keep using these rare candies. <laughs> I used to remember like the whole sequence of symbols, like, oh, really? cause I had so many rare candies. It'd be like, I think like the biggest one was just like a black square. And then I think pretty close to that was like a flower or something. I don't know. Omnipotent. I probably Let's feed this guy an omnipotent. Like, what what could happen, right? I probably have like my original copy of Pokemon Red and Blue somewhere. Oh, I definitely have those. I have like three copies of each of them. I've, I'm sure I've mentioned this like a hundred times. I worked at like a GameStop, uh, or I hung out at a GameStop, or both, some. Both I mean, I did were... both of those things, and like sometimes people would come in to trade a Pokemon Red or Blue, and they would get like fifty cents for it, and I'll be like. I'd give, I'll give you a dollar. Just a, now, I just have backup copies of Pokemon Blue, in case in case the world goes up. And by the way, I just and all technology know, like, is destroyed. Like, I'll still have three copies of Pokemon Blue to go through before it before it's all gone. I forever. just want everybody to know that Kyle, you're 25. By the time by the time you were working at a GameStop, this is well beyond the point where you were playing or looking at Pokemon Red or Blue. Yes. This is not like you were not in the throes of well, Pokemon. Pokemon Red and Blue was, I'm telling you, it was fifty cents trade-in value. So you can take it from there. You can figure like, oh, that was a massively popular game. It took a long time for it to get down to fifty well, cents. Well, some people value. don't think things through, Kyle. You've seen our comments section. <laughs> Oh man, I had to ban someone for the first time recently. Oh really? What, yeah. what happened? It was a uh, fucking vampire face guy. You know. Oh, that I guy. fucking hate van- that's that. Vampire face guy is someone who I've been trying guy, to get you to ban forever. We, we, I, have uh, been, I have been saying I need to ban that guy, and you've been saying no. Nee. I've recently changed my stance on banning people. I'll, okay, great. I'll ban you. The you ban me? A, oh, I'll ban the shit out of you for. <laughs> you know, I've been trying to ban you for years. <laughs> My barely successful LP team destroyed by mutual banning. <laughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, this I I won't ban people for this, but I'm definitely gonna start removing uh, comments on Let's Play videos of people just saying, "Make the other Let's Play." Like yeah. if you comment on Digimon World and just say "More Silent Hill," like that gets deleted immediately. Mm-hmm. 
Whoa, stuck on a note. I noticed that earlier. I was like, I was thinking to myself, like, is that new? We just never noticed that it hangs I on the music. I feel like I would have noticed that. Where, where did this place come from? Oh, this is like a, like a fucking oh, dance was, part. I, I think this is when we, when we beat Graymon, I think. Oh, look at that. Look at those potted meats. Like, that's fucking intense. I want a bite of that. Those might be potted sirloins. Bite of that, Moxie. What is this? What's the, what is this here? It's a television. No, it's a digivice. It's an original digivice. Hey, Greymon. What's up, Greymon? De Demon. I forgot. <laughs> Our Digimon's <laughs> named Demon. I have no interest in this. I'm leaving. Not yeah. Not now. Big meat, though. Big meat. Big meat. Mm -mm -mm. Say what you will. Big meat. Uh, all right, let's see here. After you defeat the Ogremon and its gang in Ogre's Fortress, they head off to Friesland. When you explore Friesland, you'll come to an icy lake shore west of Mojimon's huts. Yeah, but okay. Let's go find that, Waymon. Um... Oh, look. Oh, now that we have Elecmon, he's added electric lights to the city. Aw. What if all of those circuits glow? That'd be way cooler. Oh, that'd be awesome. Step your game up, Elecmon, you piece of shit. For real. Um, yeah, no, uh, the vampire face guy that I banned, uh, he got mad at us because we called the Ninja Turtle names... That you referred to them as weird and foreign, and then immediately after we said that, we clarified saying not foreign as in from another place, but just like from another time, like they're foreign to our ears. And then I said, but also from a different place. All in, like he got mad at us, like that was somehow like a, like a horribly offensive joke. He also mentioned that we called Mario a greasy Italian at some point. He's painting us as being like horribly oh. well, that racist guy is, against Italians. That guy is from Italy and oh, constantly okay. is in the comment sections making horrible jokes that I have to remove without telling you because you used to get mad about that. Um, like the fucking worst shit ever Ugh. that I would take out. Oh my God, a Supra store. Um. What did I come here for? All right. Yeah, I'll keep this rolling. It's whatever. Ah. To be fair, I just want to make it clear: calling somebody a greasy Italian is definitely racist. Yeah, but but it was part of a bit where we were being horrible. Yeah, we were not just literally. Just yeah, we were that. not. That was not to be taken at face value. I mean, like, <sighs> and that guy's a monster. Like, I again, like, I have that guy has said more ridiculously gross things in our comment sections than anybody that I can yeah. think of off the top of my head. Yeah, I mean that that person is beyond reasoning when they're literally like getting mad about a thing that like literally we said it and then immediately clarified yeah. that that's not our what we were intending to say and you're just not listening. Like you're yeah. if you just don't want to hear that we're not offending you. Can we shut us out of uh, Waymon's bandit buddies. No, Waymon's our friend. No, but his bandit buddies. He wants us to kick the shit out of out of his bandit buddies. Oh, come on. Ice Devimon. Come on, Bert Bertamon, why'd you plop us down right here? Yes. Yeah. You're an asshole. Eat shit, bird birdie bird mon. Eat bird shit. I'm getting a headache. What's going on here? I've kinda got a headache too. I think it's that Moxie. I Moxie think that it's no your good. animals. I think it's just what that is. Well, I'm not allergic to my animals. No, you might be. I'll just be sort of any I think I'm a little too hot. I think I got this sweatshirt on. I think it's not doing good things for me. Been getting kind of worked up about Pennsylvania. Was there anything else about Pennsylvania? 
Uh, I went to the Cracker Barrel, and God, I wish I could remember more about it because it was like a year ago. But my impression was like, yeah, like the Cracker Barrel is like just a place where you, as far as I can tell, just get like, like their servings are limitless. Like they put food on your plate, and it looks like an amount that a human could eat, but actually it's impossible. Like it's just it's like all the cheapest food, and you, you just, just like, get a ton of it, and it's all horrible for you. Lots of ranch, some ranch stuff. Uh, I don't know. I think that's definitely, definitely that a lot of fried thing. chicken for sure. Again, this is Pennsylvania. It's not like I was in, you know, the heart of the South. But yeah. Pennsylvania, the heart of the South. <laughs> Pennsylvania, the South's hat. There weren't any pickup trucks with Confederate flags on the back. That you saw. There were Amish wagons with Confederate flags in the back. Oh, yeah. Here's the thing, though. I just want to make this clear. We live in Massachusetts. Like, everything's the South to us, is my point. No, like, no, no. I, I, under say, I understand that Pennsylvania is by no means the South. What I was going to say, that we are technically a very blue state, like, like in a lot of ways, yeah. but I see pickup trucks with Confederate Yeah, like, flags that's the craziest part, is that, like, we're in one of the most liberal states in the country, and, like, the amount that I experience ridiculous conservatism here, yeah. like, blows my mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is, it is there is, like, a real, there's a real weird glorification of, like, like, good old boy style conservatism, where, like, you know, rich white guys will wear, you know, button-up shirts, tucked into jeans and a cowboy hat and you know really say shit like Obama's a is a fuck is a poo <laughs> watch your mouth <laughs> I mean really sir yeah like that's a huge part of of Massachusetts conservative conservative culture is being like like it's like having been born in the suburbs or the city and having lived in Massachusetts your whole life and somehow identifying with like cowboy life. And well, I like, feel like you're describing a person that I've not encountered. Really? I see this literally all the time. Like living in like uh I I can tell you I can tell you that my uncle is one of them. My uncle Kurt is one of those. <sighs> like goes to country fest and like like hangs around shirtless with a cowboy hat and smokes I mean, cigars. I guess that's so, uh, to some degree, like, a conservative person in Massachusetts is probably, like, apt to fetishize, like, the the culture of the South because it's a place filled with people that think like them, like, in the same way that, like, people that are way into anime, and I even said anime instead of anime just now, and it made me feel weird. It made like, me feel they, weird to have They to really, like, that. fetishize, like, Japanese culture in a, uh -huh. in a weird way. Yeah. Bas basically, uh, your uncle is like a... He's, he's like an American South weeaboo, basically. Is sure. That's what he is. I... Basically. basically. Can I say basically you a couple more basically. times? Basically. Basically. But I see this, I see like that stuff all the time where you, people want to wear cowboy hats. Uh, people want to wear cowboy hats and pretend that they're, pretend that they're like on a range or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's like you live in Sharon and your parents are dentists. What do you do? <laughs> like, Dentists, a profession known to not exist in the South. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just mean that they're like they're like they're technically wealthy and left leaning, but they're also going to country fest and wearing cowboy hats and and it's like a weird over it's just like a weird glorification of that sort of thing where it doesn't really make sense in any mm -hmm. way and it's kind of feels like they're not thinking the whole thing through very well. By the way, uh, I'm not sure if we've collectively decided that, like, weeaboo is somehow offensive. I think we have. But I'll say I hope not because, God damn it, it's the best word ever. I think that we have. I don't, not really, I don't, I've never used it because it just sounds like it is. I don't really know exactly, w like, what the use case is. I can tell from context clues. I can, I can tell you exactly the story of the word weeaboo. Is Would it going to make it sound even no, worse? No, it's great. Okay. Um, Is it great? It's great. Okay. Because it's basically like, so it was you like wrong, someone like great. forced slaying into existence. Okay. So I think it... I, I, 
I think there might be like two comics that I miss I mix up here, but I'm pretty sure it's Perry Bible Fellowship. You know that web comic? Uh, no. And uh, you you said comic, and I was thinking comedians. No. And then I was thinking of a comedian named Perry Bible Fellowship. <laughs> I was like, that is a great name for a person. <laughs> Secret Beach Cave. Oh man, a bathosphere. Um, so there there's this comic this comic strip where there's like a guy in a board meeting and he's like uh he's pointing to a pie chart and he's like now you see you know an inordinate amount of company time and money is being spent on weeaboo and then someone at the table just goes did somebody say weeaboo and the next panel is the guy who was like pointing at the pie chart like bent over a chair with his pants down and the guy's like slapping him with a paddle and like every in the in the office is around them shouting weeaboo weeaboo so like apparently like weeaboo is just a game where if someone says weeaboo like they get paddled or okay, something got it um and is this the- and, and this is the origin of the word okay. it was completely made up for the comic strip and then i think it was like 4chan on some like anime board or something. Okay, I've decided that it is offensive. Everyone kept using the term Wapanese, I guess, and they wanted it to stop. So they did this like find and replace where if anyone posted the word Wapanese, it would come out as Weeaboo. Okay. And so like that just kind of caught fire somehow and everyone started saying Weeaboo, I guess. I just really like that it was like a nonsense word made up for a comic strip that then because of like this thing that someone did on a website, like it sort of like forced the word into lexicon. That is is like a weird, horrible Frindle. Like a fucking (laughs) nightmare Frindle. It's basically Frindle. Frindle. It's angry internet Frindle. Mm -hmm. Oh, here is, uh, this must be uh, Waru Sidraman. Well, oh, it's his master. Master, master Waru, Waru Sidramon? Oh, I think we're getting our ass handed to us. No, I don't think we're going to be fighting Waru Sidramon. I think we're going to be fighting Ogremon. Or all of them. Okay. Probably should have made sure I was full health oh, before did, I went in here. Was it not clear when I said that we would fight all of them that we were fighting Oh, I knew that we would. Time? I just didn't think about it. Okay. Oh, and I didn't adjust my attacks. Fuck. All right. Well, hey. Now we got this. This game's way more exciting with a with a. Yeah, I know. Like this is just how I play the game now. Oh my God! What's happening? Ha! The idiot got his friend. That's always the best. It is. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, Waru Cedarmon's just gonna kill his buddy. Um, oh, oh, oh. This guy's got like a lot of health. Yeah. He's got a thousand more than us at max health. Oh, you gotta finish. Yeah, so anyways, weeaboo is just a it's just a negative term for a Japanophile. Mm-hmm. A derogatory term, if you will. That whole But goddammit, it's so much to it's so much fun to say. Weeaboo. Just say it. Just say it. I don't want to say it. Just say it. I don't want to say it. Just say it. You cannot you cannot peer pressure me All into right. saying this word. I I apologize if it's been decided that weeaboo is a thing that people should I do say. not know if it has been decided. I apologize I for uh for for propagating the hatred that is the word weeaboo. I don't if I'll say this. I don't if people have decided that it is offensive, I do not think it is because they feel bad for the people that the word is targeted at, who are an actual problem also. <laughs> uh. No! Um, but Keith, you might, you might target that, that slur at me right now, because I've actually been reading a lot of manga recently. You, uh, you know what I did? What? I watched, uh... Okay, well, I didn't. I haven't. Wa- I'll, I'll say that I'll, I've watched 150 episodes of Bleach in the last two weeks. What the fuck? It shows not good. I don't like it. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't like <laughs> it. You watch 150 episodes? You don't like it? Yeah. Well, I really like the first arc 
Okay. And then I haven't liked anything after that. I've been sk- I'm technically on episode like 300 or something, but I've been skipping all the filler episodes, just like outright yeah. skipping them. Which that's, the- dude, that's what I love about manga. There's no filler. The there thing- is no filler episodes. Right. Well, but I also I'm literally incapable of reading comics and stuff. Like I can't. <sighs> my brain, like I cannot. So great. I love it. I cannot read a comic and process the story in pictures and then retain it. Oh, this, this is a great part. I like this. Uh, what what happens here? How do you know what happens here? I I saw it on like a speed run like a long time ago. Okay. <laughs> I love, like the music turns all sad. <laughs> Repay your sins. 